Well, the best way to find out about Lansing is to come and see us. I hope that, that this film gives you a flavour of, of what we have to offer and that, that you'll be excited about the possibility of Lansing and Lansing education for your son or daughter. But please do come and see us. Lansing that I find is it's got such a great community. Everyone's really relaxed with each other. You're not on your own at all. There's people around that want to help you and want to, and everything's so involved here. For the first week I was completely terrified. I think I was speechless for a little while, but you get into it quickly and everyone's really friendly. The teachers are very nice and you make so many friends here. It's nice surroundings as well. There's something different here than when we go to other schools and play matches, there's not the same sort of character. You meet with your tutor every week and they actually care about your progress and how things are getting on. One of the things that we ask of our pupils is that they stretch themselves, they find out what they can do, how they can fit it all together. And we hope that if people have really pushed themselves as hard as they can, that they feel recognised. The experience really is the element of challenge, of personal development, really making someone feel that whatever their level in terms of academic achievement, that they really are making the best of their talents. We've got a wonderful setting and you stand up here on the top of the hill in whatever the weather and, and it's just a wonderful view whether the wind is blowing or whether the sun is shining. You can't but help feel privileged to live and work in these surroundings and I think that gives a sense of valuing opportunity and encouraging people to make the most of the many and varied opportunities they have. Other evidence for national identity? Uh, like kingship, Tyson, kingship, yeah. Goes back to the I'm Damien Kearney and I'm head of history. It's a vibrant department. We have lots of outside activities as well. It's not just going to be dictates from me. I want them to be able to frame their ideas themselves. And there's no point in getting to university and studying history without that independent discipline yourselves. Otherwise, you're, you're, you're lost. <laughs> I'm Derek Cleaver, the farm manager here at Lansing College. We have 40 acres here as a farm project, and that's out of 520 acres that the college owns. The farm is just a project for the pupils to use for their activities. When you get down here, you can feed the animals, cut the alpaca's teeth and toenails and they get too long. We just look after the animals. Um, most of them are for pets, but some of them we um, keep for wool. We'll be helping with all the routine tasks, like sort of worming and shearing. This enhances pupils' confidence because they can learn so much from animals and I'm still learning. <laughs> All right, who's is that? This is Trinity. Oh, right, like that. That's why I said Ah, right. So Students nice. want to learn, they want to do well. What that means is that the teachers here can focus on teaching their subject and they don't have to worry about controlling the class, as in some schools perhaps they might. It's different to other schools. <laughs> in a way, it's more like a family at Lansing. They're very caring and supportive. Students do have the capacity, the mechanisms to work independently, to criticise, to challenge in that sense, not only to be challenged, but also to challenge their teachers to, to, to work with them, really. Everyone wants to do well. I'm not sure how it's done, but it seems that everyone does want to do well. Such a nice place to, to be in, such a nice environment to work in. It is a happy place with a very positive atmosphere, atmosphere of hard work and hard play as well. 
The main reason I chose dancing was because of the sport. Facilities are top class, coaching is top class as well. We kind of do different sports every week. I can go and swim for two hours in the pool, I can go down the gym and do weight training. It's all there for us. I do rugby and hockey and there's cricket as well. Of the 18th over. Okay. No, that's a 19. That's a 19. The cricket's great as well here. And we've got a great cricket pitch as you can see. It's good coaching here and they really encourage you to keep going and I mean if you've got some talent they'll kind of encourage you to keep developing that. The, the buzz is about not only seeing people realise their potential but seeing people develop to their best in their own special way. So we may get boys who play semi-professional football but we may get the ones who just want to have the experience of playing football because they love the activity so much and I would say that would be exactly the same with the girls hockey. But two minutes isn't even enough. That's what the equation for light times did. One over these words. That's okay. Do it. Do it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have to calculate the mean so we have five values. Yeah, line graph. It's a fine place to work because it's, it's a combination of great tradition but also cutting edge technology. The centre of the... Yeah, just the bright bit. So you need to measure just the bright bit of the object as well. Good. Yes, you were right. There's a wonderful sense of cooperation and helpfulness and friendliness going on here all the time. In nurturing the individual, we draw on, on our roots as a Christian school. We believe in promoting tolerance of others, respect for others, the altruism that, that I think is a crucial part of leading a happy adult life. Um, yes, of course, successful in, in financial terms, but there's so much more to success and happiness than just financial security. And we wish to prepare our pupils for their adult lives to be able to be financially secure, but also to be happy and to know what they need to be happy in the broader sense of that word. The Lansing ethos, the sense of Christian community. A lot of people wouldn't subscribe, perhaps, to the to saying, I am a believing Christian and I therefore sign up to this. But that sense of the chapel at the heart and people regarding each other through heaven's eyes as being important in themselves as individuals and worth valuing as individuals, I think permeates fully. <laughs> Creative problem solving is at the core of what we study, looking at how we can think laterally to create new solutions. There are all the practical skills, which actually I think are quite valuable and bridge into other things that people might not think of, even PE, uh, music, the arts. It's such a broad subject in what they actually get out of it from the point of view. It's so creatively open, but at the same time it can enhance skills from presentation all the way through to written skills, and it's really kind of cross-curricular in that respect. I want to pursue a career in architecture, so the teachers are always here to help you and they all know your project, as in they know it in detail each pupil. Being in a campus has made me feel to more life of, towards university, the way campus life can feel and the way being home from school as a boarding school. I'm director of boarding and if the welfare of the children is not as it should be, then that will inhibit and restrict their development. And it's not just on an individual basis, on a, on a collective basis. The fundamental core of what Lansing is about is how the children relate to the staff and that relationship which is, is difficult to quantify, you can't put it into literature other than saying well it's a friendly environment and it works. At Lansing you feel valued whether you're a pupil or a member of staff. And even though some days you may look at the chapel and think it's quite an imposing building, it really is a friendly family atmosphere behind the beautiful setting. The students do achieve consistently. I think it's not lurching from success to disappointment, and the results have been particularly satisfying in many, many areas. I see people coming in at 13, and they are children. And I see people going at 18, and they are proto-adults. And at stages in between, they will have been wise and infuriating and childish and sensible. And you see the kind of the germinating sense of people finding who they are 
and developing themselves. Yeah. I'm a firm believer in the fact that if academic work is at the heart of, of education, it's everything around the academic work that contributes to the individual at the age of 18. So it's everything they do outside of the classroom as well as inside the classroom and living together in school as bored as many of our pupils are or as day pupils taking advantage of that boarding ethos that enables them to develop that self-confidence and that self-motivation that make them very strong candidates for the top university courses and indeed for their chosen careers in due course. Right, off stage positions, thank you. Yeah.